She want the finest. Yeah. She want the finest clothes. She want the finest cars. She wanna pull up with the cameras on her like the model. Yeah. She want the finest stuff. The finest stuff. She want the finest stuff. What is up, you beautiful faces, and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I am Jamila Ariel. If you are new, welcome, and if you are old, welcome back. As you can tell by the title, today's video I will be talking about <laughs> 10 things that I or we are leaving in 2019. And these are just things that I have noticed about myself but you may also think that you need to leave these things in 2019 as well in my opinion in general people need to leave these things in 2019 but hey also you guys look at this look at my phone <laughs> i'm supposed to be getting it fixed tomorrow hopefully because tomorrow is new year's eve so hopefully they'll be open tomorrow and I can get this disaster fixed. Cause I can't even, I can't even look at the top of my phone. Like I can't even read that. Just hop right into it. Number one on my list, which should be number one on everyone's list, procrastination. In my opinion, everybody should be leaving procrastination in 2019 because procrastination some people say they work well under pressure and under procrastination i think i do but i think doing things ahead of time if you're like me and you have like bad anxiety i think that working ahead of time instead of waiting to the last moment would help relieve a lot of that stress and anxiety so stop procrastinating get the job done it's not gonna hurt to get whatever you gotta do done ahead of time and out the way number two laziness laziness kind of like ties in with procrastination but like in my opinion laziness is not as bad as procrastination but the two combined together can become the worst combination ever um with laziness that's like saying um i'ma do it it's kind of like procrastination because with procrastination you're like oh i'ma do it tomorrow with laziness you're like i'ma do it tomorrow but just like for me when it comes to content it's kind of like I want to go to sleep instead of uploading content like I took a whole two weeks off I think and it wasn't laziness it was just like I didn't feel well at all but I'm back so but part of it was like I was just so overwhelmed I didn't even want to do anything at all <clears throat> but I'm over that now laziness should be left in 2019 right with procrastination number three which is my favorite. Get my hair straight for this one. Halfway friends. Don't you just hate them? Halfway friends. And you know, you know what I am talking about. When I say halfway friends, the friends that claim they are your friend but never support you, the ones that will talk to you only when it's convenient for them, the ones that will claim that they are your friend but never text you first. You're always the one checking on them, seeing if they're okay. Leave them halfway friendships and relationships in 2019 because you're giving your energy to somebody else that does not deserve your energy. And we're not doing that in 2019. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm doing this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to cut these people off in 2020. It's, to be honest, people can say what they want to say about what people want to do in 2020. But as long as these people prove the people that are doubting them wrong. I don't see nothing wrong with having like New Year's resolutions and goals and stuff. Like, if you say you're gonna do something in 2020, do it. Who cares what other people are gonna say? 
they saying it out because they hating it. They ain't got goals for the new year. I mean, it's all about whether or not you keep up that goal. So do whatever you want to do. Next, I have bad habits. I know I have a bad habit of oversleeping. Um, I have a bad, bad habit of oversleeping. Um, I have a bad habit of not paying attention. Like I have a kind of small attention span. So I'm gonna try and work on my attention span to make it easier for me to pay attention to absorb things. So if you have bad habits, write those bad habits down so you can remember what you need to work on. Okay, and uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, number five on my list, I have binge eating. I know when I get like really nervous, I eat. When I get happy, I eat. When I'm sad, I eat. Like when I'm depressed, I eat. It's a lot of people out there like that that do that. And <clears throat> to be honest, that's not good. It's not good for your health to do that at all. To be honest, anything binging is not good for your health. Binge sleep, binge eating, binge drinking. None of that is good for your overall health. So leave binging in 20. 19 unless it's a tv show unhealthy diet that kind of ties in with binge eating a little bit binge eating and unhealthy diets can differ at times unhealthy diets you can be eating things that you're not supposed to eat when you're binge eating and just changing your diet like drinking more water eating more fruits and vegetables that's what i want to do in 2020 and I really, 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 really want to stop like eating pork in 2020. Like I want to cut out red meats and pork. Like I just want to eat like fish and stuff like poultry or isn't that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> like just more healthier meats, like non-greasy, non-fatty meats. I just feel like if you cut that out of your diet, your body would do so much better. So that's something that I'm gonna try. It's gonna be kind of hard dealing with college, but they do have like a vegan area you can eat at at my school. So I think I'm probably gonna try that out. I don't know yet. Next on my list, I have unhealthy lifestyle. What I mean by unhealthy lifestyle is like your sleeping habits, overstressing, overworking yourself. Um, your diet can tie into your lifestyle. Um, not exercising, that can be an unhealthy part of your lifestyle. Um, just overworking yourself and overwhelming yourself constantly, that can be a part of your lifestyle. And I say like some lifestyle changes that I wanna make. Um, also it can be spiritually as well. Like I know for a fact that I wanna go to church more in 2020. Um, I wanna work out more, I wanna eat better. I wanna just like make a better person. Um, what's the word? Create a better attitude. Um, just become more positive. That's what I want to do. And I feel like I will accomplish that because I'm really tired of some things about me. So, change that unhealthy lifestyle. Next. Next on my list. Toxic guys. Toxic guys is next on my list we are leaving we are leaving them in 2019 because you're not putting up with any more toxic guys repeat after me this is how this is how i remove toxic guys out of my life within a week even right after you meet them within a week you can lose them by saying this prayer lord if it's for me, let it be. I don't know if it's going this way, but Lord, if it's for me, let it be. For the third time, Lord, if it's for me, let it be. And I guarantee you in a few days, if he's not for you, God will remove him out of your life. So that's all I'm gonna say on that note. Actually, no, that's not. If you know for a fact they're toxic, cause I don't know, it's something about us females. Like we have a thing for toxic guys. Why? 
why leave them in 2019 please next on my list number nine is self-doubt like let's say i know for a fact i doubt myself a lot and you can be like your yourself you can be your hardest critic like self-criticism can really kill you not literally but metaphorically it can kill you like it can kill your dreams self-doubt it really can like being too hard on yourself not saying that oh i made a mistake oh i did this wrong and get it over it like constantly self-doubt constantly saying i can't do it i can't do it i did that wrong so this is not gonna go right i have a issue with doing that with like youtube schoolwork, <clears throat> music because i do love music that is my number one dream music um just anything in general like don't be so quick to doubt yourself just keep going and however it is at least you can say that you did your best and last on my list number 10 which is one of my favorites every leaving everything and everyone working against me that means people working against you spirits working against you just anything in general that's working against you anger depression self-doubt all those things doubting you leave them because it's not worth it it's not worth messing up your 2020 all right you guys that is all i have for you today this was a kind of short video very short very simple it was just to kind of jump back into my content because I've been out for a while. My apologies, but I had to take a mental health break. I had to take a lot of those because, um, just, yeah, but bear with it. Bear with it. Um, but I'm so grateful for everybody that stuck around, stuck around, sticks around, whatever you want to say, around. I'm grateful for those that stick around and those that constantly watch me, constantly support me. And I want to say that I've had a great 2019. I really have. And it's been a good year. Like, I'm so happy I started this channel. I've gotten to know some of y'all that have subscribed to me. Some of y'all have DM me, which I appreciate. Like interact with me i love when people interact with me i love to talk to people so i love it when some of y'all dm me or snapchat me keep doing that because i love you guys so much but that's all i have if i don't make another video this year i hope everybody has a great 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 new year i really do and i hope everybody accomplishes their goals next year because i will be accomplishing my goals next year so I love each and every one of you guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment some things you want to leave in 2019 and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video y'all like my nails